Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Genki, and in today's video, I just want to give you a quick update about where I'm at. Recently, I've been finding it really difficult to maintain my consistency in making YouTube videos. It's not just YouTube videos, there are many aspects of life that I think it's really hard to develop habits of consistency towards, but especially YouTube. Now, something I've gotten into to replace YouTube currently is called Twitch, and I've been streaming on Twitch every day. And I've been getting some success there, and it's fun, I've been meeting people. It's a different platform, but I don't want to... I think one of the big things that stops people from really growing in their mind, in their life, is that, you know, they try really hard on one platform, and the success doesn't come as fast as they would like, so they decrease the amount of effort they put into that platform. And when they decrease the amount of effort they put into it, they produce less content, they stop learning, they stop getting better. And then their content, their message goes downhill. And then, you know, you have to consider this because people view their time. They really care about their time, right? Even watching a five minute video, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. People care about their time. And if they're going to watch something, they want it to be good. They want it to be valuable to them. So when you're not valuing the video making process, you have to look at it from the perspective of who's watching your video. How are they going to value your video if you don't even value it yourself? So I've been doing this Twitch for about two months now and it's been going great. I've been having a lot of fun, but YouTube has just gone completely out of my mind. A, pro a platform that I've gotten back into is Wattpad, which is really cool. I'm doing a journaling process for 2020. I'll talk about that in another video. But I don't want to, I don't want to give up on YouTube. And I know this is a me thing, but I'm sure that there are things in your life where, you know, you're trying something really long and you find something new and then all your energy goes into this new thing and you forget about the old. And I want to talk to you about a possible solution that I was learning about in this book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's called habit stacking. So the idea of habit stacking what it means is that once you have a habit, a habitual habit, something that's established in your routine, you put something directly after it. Now, I'll give you an example of habit stacking that I've been using very recently, and it's been really effective. Usually in some of my videos, I forget to shave, and I don't think it's great, but <clears throat> I'm so, like, not caring about, like, the message that I'm trying to put out here and, like, my appearance that I just make the video and I upload it. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's good. I'll just put it down there and... Hopefully, somewhere down the road, I'll become successful. That's just what it is. But now, when I come home and I take a shower, habit stacking, when I enter the bathroom, I put the hot water on, and while I'm waiting for the water to get hot, I shave. So, you might think to yourself that this is pretty obvious, but for me, it was not for a very long time. I never thought about my, my, my the hair on my face, because I don't have any hair on my face, it barely ever grows, and it's always like, I'm just a get-up-and-go person, and... I think that habit stacking is a way, I don't know how James Clear put it in his book, but it's a way to be proactively lazy to make sure that you can get your stuff underway while you're doing things. Because, you know, neurons in the brains that fire together, wire together, the Hebb's theory. You know, if you're in the area to do something, you can do something related in that area, and then those things become associated with each other. It's a really cool law, but that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. That's what I wanted to talk to you about today because I just feel it's hard and consistency is tough and I think that I would never know where I would be because I never made the daily videos. <clears throat> However, I'm going to be trying to habit stack Twitch and YouTube now. So after I'm done with the Twitch broadcast, I'm immediately going to film a YouTube video. And because I film three, because I do Twitch three times a day, I think I'll have three videos. So I'll have three times to make videos. And in this, this is going to be a really cool idea. I think that I'll start with the idea in the morning and then I'll see where the idea finishes up in the evening. Either that or I can make separate videos throughout the day. I don't know, but I, I feel like <clears throat> habit stacking is a really cool concept and I would highly recommend that you look, at it, you look into using it in your life because I really do feel that what stops a lot of us along the journey is an over-input of sensory and a lack of habits in place to deal with the over input you have to learn more it's like they have this word in japanese they learned recently called taiteki which means like stagnation and usually it refers to like relationships but in this case 
I'm applying it to like living abroad in Spain, right? At first you learn a lot and then you 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 take up, which is the fine a little bit, and then you go to Taiki. And then you don't learn new things. You just become more theater, you become more accustomed to the environment you're living in. So Mata Teka, you go down a little bit again, then Mata Tai Taiki. And that's just the process until eventually you feel so burnt out from lack of progress. And progress is one of the most defining factors of our of our journeys. And that you give up. And I don't want to give up, guys, and I don't want you to give up either, so I want to do this together. So, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching the video. Please give me a like, it would help me out a lot. <clears throat> Honestly, I need help these days to stay motivated to do this stuff. Share this video with your friends, I think that positivity is underrated and we need to get the word out there to more people. Even though there are a lot of positive people in this world, I think it's still not a part of mainstream conscious thought. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments and honestly a comment would make me would make me smile and make me really interactive. And just remember, you're not alone, I'm not alone, we're not alone. We can do this together, alright? I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.